make sure to join the Discord server and become part of the community. We have roles that people can assign and lists of tutorials to mold videos. Join now, the link is in the description. Go. 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 <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to install and set up a bungee cord uh, server. A bungee cord server. Bungee cord basically is where it like, connects all your Minecraft servers all together into like one thing where you connect to that bungee server and then you can select whatever server the hell you want. So first to get started we first need to download bungee cord obviously. So we need to go to this website, it will be like the first link in the description. Uh, you just need to go into here and just scroll down a bit and click on here where it says download the latest bungee cord from here. Click on this and then we want to download the bungee cord .jar, the top one here. We don't want to view it. Did it wrong, click it here. Press keep, now you want to keep it. And it should download just like that. And drag it onto our desktop. And then also make sure you guys have Java 16 installed. There will be a link in the description where to download Java 16. They need Java 16. And this is for 1.17. Uh, download. I think Java 16 will be the second link in the description. Well, then afterwards, once you have all your servers set up, or you have all your servers, like whatever servers you need to set up, uh, I'll show up a banner right now uh, showing how to make a 1.17 Spigot server. And once you've got these, your servers connected, I'd recommend putting into a little folder of all your servers and the bungee cord. So once you're in this little bungee cord, once you've made it, you can grab this and just drag it in here, like you normally would. Alright, so you want to make a text document, like shown right here, like this, and you want to click on it, and then just put that, and just change this to bungee cord, like that. Want to do that and then do file save as and also I'll actually not recommend to have that much RAM on here. Uh, I'll say around one gigabyte is good enough for this, you don't need really that much more. Uh, 1024 that's how much you really need. Now you can do this save as into that same bungee cord, uh, select all files, and then select like run dot bat. I should rename it. Delete the text lock. I mean, you don't need it anymore. Not that now. We need that. You delete that and run dot bat file. It should load up like this. Have all the files like that, and that should be done like that. Once you've done that, you can just close it immediately. You don't need it running right now. And now you can start configuring all your servers so they work with bungee cord. So let's start with this in bungee cord first and go into configs, into the config.yml file. You can just open this, open this up with notepad. And we want to go down where it says servers. This is now really important that you just, so let's say I have currently two servers that I want to connect together, the creative server and the survival server. You know, I'll add another one. I'll call this the lobby server. And then we just copy this over real quick into the lobby server like this. And now we want to have three servers connected to the Bungie network. So we just want to copy this three times. No, two more times, like that, like that. Just put some space between these make it more obvious what I'm doing and now we want to rename them so like I want this one to be survival I'm going to spell survival wrong but I really care and this one to be uh, creative like that we want to just rename them like so make them all like this they can't be differently than this otherwise it'll break and we want to change these little ports we want to change these so let's say for the lobby server we can do 6566 and then for the survival server we want 67 if we want and then for this we want 68 
I would recommend grabbing opening up a little notepad and just like typing in like log b equals two five five six six survival uh, equals two five five six seven and creative equals two five five six eight. I just recommend having this like here so you remember you don't have to come back looking here every five seconds. So yeah, you'll do that. And uh, then you want to open up CMD command prompt like that and type in IP config like that. You want to look over here where it says IPv4 address and you just want to copy this like that and just replace it with this here like this. Like I'm doing currently just replacing it so it's like that and that's what you want to do. After you've done that you can technically do so you can set your priority server to be here, so I want people to connect to a lobby first before anything else, obviously. So, you know, it works perfectly fine every time. You have all these true... Uh, you want IP forward. Uh, you want this to be true. You want to set IP forward to true right here. This little setting. You want to set uh, false default servers. You also want this to be true. So they have to join priority, this priority server first before you can join any other different server. I just recommend doing that to be honest. And once you've done all of this, um, you can just, yeah, you just save it, save the document real quick. Like that. And then base, actually no, before you do that, for quitting, uh, you can go into where it says host over here. And you can set this to 25565, like shown here, and then replace this with that same little uh, numbers here. You can just replace it with this again, so it says 192 or whatever yours is, uh, 25565. Once you've done that, you can save it, and you can close it, because you don't need it anymore. Then you want to go in each and individual Minecraft server and do these specific, specific things. When I first go into bucket.yml right here, I'm going to any of these and just click on bucket.yml. Let's do lobby first. Bucket.yml, open it up. You want to scroll down a bit until you find connection throttle, which should be here, yep. And you just want to change this to minus one. So you've done that, you can just quickly save it and close it again. Next, you want to find server properties and open this up and then server properties you want to change the server port this one here you can you want to change this real quick to whatever you put in here so I, I for the lobby I put this as the server port so you just need to replace it with this like that and we can now go into where it says online mode we should just set that to false no worries the server is still going to be online we just need to set this to false so it works with bungee cord so once you've done that, you can just save it and close it. Next, you need to go to spigot.yml and then here you need to set bungee cord, which is right here, to true. It cannot be false, it has to be true. Like this. Once it's true, you can just save it and close it. So now you just need to go to the other servers, like here. I'll do this one more for you guys. Go to bucket.yml. You go scroll down a bit and find where connection throttle is. Change that to minus one. You save it. You close it. You go to server properties. You find this where it says uh, server port. You see which one it is. This one's the survival server. You grab the survival port, which you said earlier what it was. You put it in here like this, and then we also set the online mode to the false. Save it, we close it. We go to spigot.yml and then we change bungee cord to true. Right here. Close it up again. And then let's do one more in the creative one. You have to do it for every server, it's mandatory. 
you have to find what the connection throttle is, change that to minus one, close it, change go to server properties, see what the what the pore is, sixty-eight, change that in here to sixty-eight. Uh, change online mode to false, save it, close it, go to spigot.yml, change bungee cord to true, save it, close it. And that should be basically it if we did everything. Change the server pool, we set it to false, and yeah, that is basically all of it that you have to do to set it up properly. Now you can just run the servers. Real quickly, just turn all the servers on. Just close this, we don't need it. Go to the lobby server, switch it on. Uh, is that server this? No clue. Is it the creator server? Well, tell me if it is. Uh, yeah. You usually normally just turn on uh, the bungee cord server before anything else, usually, so it doesn't break. But I just did it in any order to be honest. Yeah. Once you have all of this uh, loaded up, once all the servers load up, it usually takes a bit. I think one of them just crashed because I turned it on wrong. I might have turned the wrong server on to be honest. Have I turned the survival server on yet? Yeah. Vehicle. Uh, is this the one I didn't open yet? Yes, this is the one I haven't opened yet. Good. Yep, once you have all the servers switched on, all working and everything, like they should be, you may see a quick flash in a second. That's just something going on. Just ignore it. Uh, yep, once all these servers are up and running, like they are right here, you just open the last one. This. Yep, once all the servers are run, you can open up Minecraft, like you would. You can click play on 1.17, because this, this is a 1.17 server. If you want to know how to make a Minecraft server, just uh, watch my other video that I made a long ago. And I can go into multiplayer. You can see we actually pinged the server when we did that. See, we ping the server, it's right here. You can just open it up and look, we joined the lobby server. This is the lobby server right now. We're playing on the lobby server. We can do slash server and then you can pick whatever server we want. Well, let's say pick creative server. If we do that, we just moved into here. Now we're here. We just moved from this lobby server and we moved to the creative server right here. And this is a completely different one. And then we do slash server again. If you want to move to a different server, you can do slash server survival. And now we're in here. It's another survival server. And that's how you set up Bungie Cord. This is pretty much really simple to do. It doesn't require that much effort to do. And it's quite a nice thing, to be honest. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe, like the video. You know. I'm almost at 300 subs, I'd appreciate it if we got by the end of this month. Let's beat up this chicken, and just see if it still works, we can go into any server we want. That's already the server we're on. Go into creative, boom. Go into, I don't know, let's go into lobby again. Everything works. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Enjoy it.